go guys, welcome to today's video where I am putting together some Paw Patrol party bags for my daughter's fourth birthday party. She's absolutely obsessed with Paw Patrol at the moment, so we're going for that theme. Okay, so I've got 20 of these things to make up. I, I genuinely don't understand how you can have 20 friends before you're even four years old, but I have 20 of them, so. These are the party bags. They come in like packs of 12. Make a quick count there. So you've got Everest on one side, Sky on the other, and then all of them, well, not quite all of them, but some of them on that one. And I've gone for like the paper ones so that they're slightly more environmentally friendly. Pretty much all of this came from Amazon. I will link those down in the description. Link it all down in the description below so that you can find it easily. So it took me a long time to figure out all of this. And then the party bags come with like little stickers to seal them shut. So I thought that was quite cute. And that's the other packet of them. So I've got plenty of all of them all together. Move that out of the way. Because I've got 20 of them, I'm not going to make them all up now on camera, so I'm going to be here all day. Okay, so the first thing we've got in them is, we've got some little tattoos, obviously fake tattoos, with all the different characters on them. You can really see that. So I pre pretty much everything came in like packs of 10s and 12s, so I've had to buy two packs of everything for these 20 children that are coming. So there's those. We've then we've got stickers. So these come in packs of, it doesn't say, but I should imagine that they are 10s and 12s again. So again, so again, just various different Paw Patrol. And then, so yeah, there's two packs of those, I'm not sure how many are in there, but any that don't get used in the party bag are not going to be wasted. So then I have got these, these are little face masks and to be honest with you, they're, they're quite terrifying. The postman's out there, dogs in the park now. And annoyingly, they don't come with the bit attached. So I'm not sure, I'm not decided yet whether I'm gonna attach them myself or whether I'll just put them in the bag unattached. But again, you've got various different Masks there. It's tiny, random. I made like a complete mess of this, that was all nice and neat just a minute ago. Then I've got these, so these are like little stampers. Don't know how well you can see that. They might work better on paper, I don't know, they, that doesn't look great, but I can't remember how much I spent on these, but I will total it all up once I get the links and everything and then I can let you know. I've then got some Paw Patrol balloons and I'm always I'm never sure whether to put balloons in party bags or not because obviously I don't you don't want kids sticking unblown up balloons in their mouths and stuff but I'm assuming that nobody is just going to leave their children unsupervised while they open these up so they've all got tiny things on them. I don't know what they're going to look like when they're blown up. Okay. I'm going to have to put this one in Isabel's bag now because I've obviously slobbered all over it. That's as much as I'm going to get that blown up at the moment, being eight months pregnant. But they don't look too bad. I then got these things. I don't really understand what they are, but they're basically just like an entire body parts and accessories for various different Paw Patrol characters. The dog ones, the actual Paw Patrol characters themselves look less scary than the, the rider one. But I'm sure that they'll all have great fun in trying to stick these together. Again, I'm not sure how many come in a pack, but I've got two packs. So I'm assuming they're in like packs of 10 or 12 again. Then I've got, so I've got some bubbles. I thought I'd got some bubbles. So I've just got these basic ones in various different colors. And they come in packs of 10. <laughs> I noticed 
there's no bubbles in them. So I am going to have to top them up myself, which wasn't in my plan of things to do. I don't even know if I've got any bubble solution. Okay, there we go. And then the last thing I've got, and these come in all various different colours, they look tiny torches that actually do work. These are so cute. So what I'm going to do is I'll put one bag together just to make sure that it looks like, you know, there's a decent amount in there. Because that's another thing as well, I'm like, how many things should you put in a party bag? Do I need to put chocolate in there? Should I put sweets in there? I'm overthinking it massively, so I'm just going to put it together and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so I've got the difficult as well. I didn't want to get like loads of completely pointless plastic crap but there wasn't anything that was partic particularly sustainable for you know like war patrols. I'm not going to be able to fold it over though with these little plastic things in which is annoying but I probably can. Obviously I can't seal it up at the moment because I've got to, oh, I've got to fill up the bubbles but <laughs> there we go guys that is that is our little Paw Patrol thing. As I said, I'll put the total value in. I can't honestly can't remember off the top of my head how much I've spent on this. Try to keep it as like low budget as possible. But these things aren't cheap anyway, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye!